of it out. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? Elton from Aaron Earth here, the garden manager. Today, we're gonna to do a short video on uh, testing the pH of soil. Uh, you might ask what that means. Uh, basically, basically, to grow healthy vegetables or you know, healthy plants in general, uh, they like certain types of soil. And that's how you decide the pH. Basically, you come down here, it measures like this. So a low pH, uh, starting at two, and it goes around here, up to 10. So if it's 10, uh, it's very alkaline, and if it's two, it's very acidic. Now, um, vegetables like a pH of around seven, and natives like a pH of around five, five and a half. So I've got two soils in here that I've put on here. One is native and one is vegetable mix. So which one's native, which one's vegetable? This is the native one here, so from this wheelbarrow here. Okay, so one on our right is the native. And then the vegetable one yep. from this slot this over one here. On the left. Yep, right so on. I've got a pH tester here, a kit, which you can buy from any garden centre. Uh, really easy to use. Uh, just follow the instructions basically, but I'll show you what to do. So first of all, uh, you get your liquid and you squirt it on. On both. Then you get your powder and hopefully it comes out. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take the lid off because this isn't working. Troubleshooting, how, yeah. How it should. It changes colour straight away almost. So the colour should change. So you wait a few minutes, but it does start to change straight away. Now the difference in these, the colours here, this is a darker green and this is a lighter green. So the native mix is around 6 and the vegetable mix is around 5. So I want to bring the vegetable mix up to around a 7. So I want to make it more um, alkaline. And the native mix I want to bring it probably down a little bit to make it more acidic. Certain things you can use, uh, you can use lots of different things, but certain things that I like to use, because you can get them from the garden, to make things more alkaline and more acidic. So over here we have compost, eggshells or shells from the beach, or lime, which is basically crushed um, you know, a lime into a dust. So this stuff here makes things uh, more alkaline and then over here I've got stuff to make things more acidic deciduous leaves uh, ash from like a fire and pine needles now pine needles won't do heaps these two are stronger but it will do a little bit so I wanted to make as I said this garden mix here the vegetable mix uh, a bit more um, it was on there, so a bit more towards neutral, so more more alkaline. So I want to add some of these. Compost first, add little bits at a time. You don't want to make it too high. You can always test it again and again and again to get the right amount. If you go too far, then you have to bring it back. And that's just too difficult I think. I think it's easier just to do a little bit at a time. So I'm just spreading it around and give it a mix. Really simple. Mix it through. So that one's there. Done. Now we wanted to make the native mix uh, to bring it basically a little bit uh, down to five. So, more acidic. So we'll add some of these. Some leaves. Some ash. Which I dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and some pine needles. We'll figure that out. So when you drop your ash, make sure you pick it up. <laughs> Oh no. And you mix it through. 
it's not wet, so I'm using some of my hands, and it's also good fun to get it done with your hands. So after what you do all that, you give it another test, see what it's like. If it needs, <laughs> <laughs> if it needs to come up, make sure you jump over the wheelbarrow leg on the way through. Oh, uh, if it needs to come up or come down, um, you just add more stuff as you go and do another test. Happy gardening, guys.